Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, stuck in traffic at the moment, but I'm off. I'm off to take some photographs and it's actually almost last minute.com for me because normally I'm out and about regularly and I get a bit of content in advance. So I've got content for, you know, a week or two weeks generally before I actually go to post. But I just had an opportunity to get out this evening. I had no opportunity the last number of days or weeks for that matter since my last trip down to Barra. So I've got an opportunity this evening. I'm heading to the coast and I'm going to head down to a place that I haven't been to not only on purpose in a long period of time because of lockdown, but I haven't actually been there in a while to take some photographs. And it's an absolutely beautiful spot along the coast of Ireland. It's called Nohoval, and it has some incredible sea stacks that are just off the cliffs. And you actually have to go up quite high as well, so you get a lovely view of the cliffs, uh, of the stacks below the cliffs. The weather right now is raining at the moment, but looking at the forecast and the radars and such like that, doesn't look like it's going to rain where I'm going. I have around about 20-25 minute drive to get there and the rain will be left behind me and I should have some dry spells at the coast and I should have some nice light hopefully off into the south which is the direction that I'm going to be uh, shooting. So yeah we'll head down now hopefully we get some nice conditions. If we do it's great. If we don't it's still great. It's still great to be back and still great to be able to enjoy the coast that I have around me here in Cork. So yeah Let's go. Well, may not be, may not be right. The rain is here, but will I stop? Will I continue on? I think I'm going to continue on. I do believe, and I've said it a lot of times before, that bad conditions do not exist in landscape photography. And even in the rain here, I still think that there'll be some lovely photographs to get. Probably moody shots. Now, I'm going to get suited up, get protected from the rain, and I'm going to head up to the top of the cliff. And hopefully, when I get there, it won't be too wet. It might stop. There is a break in the clouds as I just showed you a moment ago. That might work. But either which way, I know I'm going to enjoy it. I know I'm going to have fun. <laughs> I probably know I'm going to get wet, but hey, let's not that make stop us. So yeah, let's go. So, it rained all the way up here, and the moment I got to the top, around five minutes later, it stopped. Now, uh, behind me here, as you can see, are these stacks. But, since I've been here, where can I get this? Now, since I've been here the last time, the people that own the land behind here obviously got sick of people because they've got the whole thing now completely blocked off with a big sign, private land, no access. Now, it means that I'm going to have to go and get a completely different composition than I've ever done before because normally I continue up, uh, if I can show you here at my hand, I continue up in this direction here. So, um, as you can see, up here is where I'd normally go, but I can't go up there anymore, so now I'm limited to here. It's still beautiful, don't get me wrong. It's still a fantastic spot, but yeah, going to have a couple of different challenges here now, I think, to be able to get a different composition anyway. Not the ideal one, because you can't get the full extent and the sweep as well of the cliffs, which is very, very disappointing. But at the same point, I'm out, I'm here, the rain has stopped. I don't need to be uh, covered up now anymore. I can start taking off some layers and yeah, Hopefully we get some nice shots. There's a clearing in the sky as you can kind of see behind me here. Maybe you can because this is so good at tracking my face. No, you can't. Um, I'll show you in a separate video of it. But yeah, hopefully I get some light with that clearing um, and we'll see anyway how we get on. I'm going to go for some moody shots like I would have said. I'm going to put on some filters, take some long exposures. And one thing I've noticed as well is that the water is crystal clear. So you can see right down into the bay and the rocks that are underneath the water, which is quite interesting as well. So yeah, we're here now. We're going to get set up. We'll see what shots we can get. We'll check back in in a moment. It really pisses me off actually that I can't get up to where I wanted to go because I'm very limited for compositions and you can't really get the full scope of where we are. So what I'm thinking is this. This is private land. 
I can't step on the land. But hey, I do have a drone. So I'm going to send the drone up and I'm going to let the drone get that shot for me. And also get some video footage as well of the stunning uh, sea cliffs that are here. So yeah, a bit of ingenuity I think, but yeah, pissed off I wouldn't really be able to get that proper shot but hopefully the drone will be able to do it and uh, yeah I'll show you some drone footage next and then I'll show you the photograph as well that I've gotten with that and the sun now is uh, just I think going to dip down into some clouds or into a gap in the clouds that I see on the horizon here so we might get something lighting up this direction if the sun comes true may not be able to light it up much because it's such a dark uh, rain cloud but you never know. Might get a rainbow. Who knows? But yeah, we'll see how we go anyway. Show you this footage. Check back in in a moment. gave up on the top location because the light actually didn't come in the end didn't give me much actually out to the sea but I've come back down the cliff a small bit here and as you would have seen here as I was walking in I spotted some wild flowers that are on the very edge of the cliff something different I have to find a different composition to normal anyway here today but I've got the camera now set up quite low as you can see here and I'm quite close to the flowers as well so what I'm going to have to do is basically uh, focus stack. So by focus stacking, it's going to make sure that I get the flowers themselves uh, sharp. And then again, another one as well, just out far, because I am quite close in relation to it. But I do think, nonetheless, it will be a nice shot. And again, you know, not much light. I didn't predict much light. If I got it, it would have been a bonus. But yeah, kind of a couple of moody shots, I think, that I'll get anyway here today. As always, great to get out. Great to be able to have the camera. Great to be able to be by the sea. I've never seen here actually so calm. And, you know, there's not a breath of wind either here. So, I mean, I'm using uh, the microphone that's on the DJI Osmo Pocket. I never really used the microphone on that. But I think it's going to be good enough today because there's no wind whatsoever. So, yeah, I'm going to continue on here, finish up this shot anyway. I'm going to sign out for this episode of my vlog. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, you know the usual. Hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, schlange fall.